What is meant for you, what cares about you, will always make time for you. With that being said as well, somebody that loves and respects themselves enough to love and respect you correctly, organically, even though they will always make time for you, they will make sure that time has been set for themselves beforehand. Someone being by your side does not mean they will crumble their responsibilities for you. I don't sense that you're a person that asks for that to begin with. I'm telling you that because it's for realization of yourself. You cannot crumble away your well-being to help another. You can be there for people and still see they must respect your space. You are a person that knows how to set healthy, healthy boundaries and when to cut something off before it gets too hot. You are a energy where people, when it comes down to make it or break it situations, needing advice, knowing someone to count on, it's you. That is a blessing. It is not a curse to be so real raw and in touch with yourself to know I can give without fear that I trust myself enough to give to ones who are truly deserving of it last night I filmed three readings the last one did not finish it cut off So I knew there was something last night in your energy or another person's energy that was a big event of being at peace with fate and letting go of control. That directed the course with another person forward. There was two energies. There was an energy of a person that ran away from you, ghosted you with no communication. And then there was another energy you had to separate for further growth and it was grounding. It was more communicative than you've probably received with quite a few types of people. It was an understanding that you were going to separation, not knowing how long or et cetera, but that you were ready for more and they weren't. And it hurt you separating but you knew that it was for the best. This was the grounding energy card. Somebody wants to ask for your forgiveness. Hmm. Yeah, there's about to be a question presented. Spirit wants you to know there is no right way and the decision you make to either help them, guide them in the right direction, or have this be a conversation of closure, you can't make a wrong decision. You can't fuck up your timeline by any decision. All you must simply do is come into this space, this conversation, this energy of not compliance, of seeing what's really going on and bringing faith not belittling not accusing no anger for this to go forward the ego cannot overpower the ego will try to protect the hell out of you but it's time to put that side down Last night, you realized
You realize all the people that you cut off in the past that didn't reach back out to you, that didn't decide to try to rise from the ashes with you, were not deserving of having a second chance or that you had served your purpose in each other's lives. This person is different. They have already rose to an occasion of realization. And for some of you, the conversation is but moments away. And whatever decision you make with this person, spirit wants you to state to collect your thoughts. Take time. But it is celebration. It is true intentions. It is an offer from the heart they are giving you. And they are truly asking to move forward. They want something real with you. They're ready for a relationship. They're ready for the next phase of your dynamic. They've surrendered to the process. And they are asking you before making any decision to take a step back. They don't want this to be a rash decision. They don't want to put you in a corner, but they want to be back in your life. And it's more than just a want. They know they had the choice to walk away and they understand why you chose to walk away from them. But they also stated, I can't not give this my all. I will think what if, if I don't ask for forgiveness, if I don't try to state, I see the path forward. And I can give you what you're deserving of now. They've manifested this new opportunity with you. Spirit says it is safe to give, but with healthy boundaries. It is safe to trust, but To not get stuck in the sweetness of the situation. Remember the full picture with you too. The four movement here is you must release your limiting beliefs. That if this person wasn't supposed to be in your life, your angels would not have even made them feel comfortable enough to ask to knock on your door. That's a reason. Why people of the past, when you separated from them, it just went away and they didn't try ever again. They were literally made to not feel comfortable enough by your guides, even if it pissed you off. It, it was made for them to not feel safe in a sense, spiritually, emotionally, to make a forward movement with you because your guides knew they would disrupt your peace. Your law of attraction. It's not that any single person that's going to cause you a roller coaster bump, they're going to sway away from you. Quite the opposite. They bring people who activate you. So that's the, that's the limiting belief they want you to release. They wouldn't let this person even feel comfortable enough to talk to you if there wasn't a true intention here. They're going to be focused on staying communicative with you. They're taking charge and want this to go far. Spirit is in encouraging this connection and says you don't, you don't need any more information. You must simply allow the conversations to flow. Whatever tools you need presented to see them face to face, you are ready. You have and go from there. That's what I got for y'all today. And I'll see you when I see you. Oh, before I forget, we got to talk about two things. We're going to talk about the spiritual, Colorado, the spiritual Colorado retreat that I am hosting in the Rocky Mountains, August 11th through August 16th. I am so excited for this trip. It's going to be just as much spiritual as it is physical. It's a very physical trip. It's all hands-on. We are supervised by the professionals the entire time. Another thing that I have in place is my own spiritual workshops every single day of the trip. We'll center focus on one topic every single day. 
So the first day will be a guided energy reading. Basically, one-on-one, -on -one, you and I will sit there away from the crowd, away from our collective, our, our found family members, the guides, etc. Just me and you. We're going to go and look into your energy of what you came into the trip with. We're going to release bounds. We're going to open up your chakras so you have full downloads and understand what limitations to leave. What to be focused on to grow. The rest of the days after that, it will be about teaching you tarot, manifestation techniques, identifying and enhancing your own spiritual abilities, inner teenager, inner, uh, inner child work, etc. And then on the last day, we again will go back to a one-on-one -on -one guided energy reading where we show you how your law of attraction, how everything has advanced from this, what you released, and help you center focus on that positive mindset that you have in the mountains as we go up the hurdles of the mountains together to bring it into your reality. To bring those lessons into the same understandings but from physical form to emotional, to hurdles with other people. This trip is life-changing. And I'm honored to be a part of it. Because it's all of us that make it happen, you see. If you are feeling called, one other thing I have to talk about it is the fact that I have my cards currently in production. My tarot slash oracle cards. They're not going to be for sale for a while, like after the trip. The first prints of all of my tarot slash oracle decks, I am going to gift to every single participant of the trip. We are going to cleanse those cards and other divination tools that I'm going to present to you as a gift together. And that is what we will use in the mountains. You will be the first people to lay your eyes on these cards and have them in your possession. If you're feeling called, I highly suggest you get now on it and claim your spot. At the time of me filming this, I have two early bird spots available. That's $200 off the entire trip. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, do not hesitate to send me a message at contact at offprintmint.com. The link to the adventure is all over all of my social media platforms and my website. If you go to the bio, if you go to my channel, my profile bio, you will see also my website link. And that is where when you connect to the website, you can send me a message instantly from there. I'm so excited for this trip. It's going to be phenomenal. And the last thing I want to promote is my apprenticeship program. I have two forms of a mentorship program. The first is my apprenticeship divination, my divination apprenticeship program, and then my Patreon tier seven tarot coaching. For individuals that are only interested in learning tarot from me, Patreon, I have the tier seven where every single week I give out a privated playlist video to all of the teachees and the, and the Patreon tier seven and the apprentices guidance on tarot, explaining the cards, different breakdowns of companion cards, how to when you have certain spreads, interpret the cards together, and so much more. Every single month, the apprentices and the students, we all get together for a group live stream where we cleanse our cards together, we share information, life experience, we bond. It's a bonding time. It's all that attendance is optional because it can be something so pure. 
It can be something you know is a safe space. Being part of my programs is more than tarot. It always is. I love tarot. Tarot is so important, but it's more. Tarot is a tool that is expanding so much more. And there's a lot of other stuff as well that is paired to the Patreon Tier 7. If you're interested in learning more, all you have to do is go to Patreon Uncle Bronze and go to the membership tab, scroll all the way down, and the listed other options or etc. are there. My Patreon is attached to my channel on YouTube, my Instagram, the bio of my videos, my, U my uh, website, everywhere. The other mentorship program is the Divination Apprenticeship Program. That is all over. All over. Manifestation techniques, inner child stress, inner teenager work, a relationship coach, helping you dive into light magic work, and so much more. If you are interested in my full, what you can get, all teachings from me, go to my website, offprintmint.com. The link is in the channel slash bio. And you scroll all the way down on my services tab. You will see the rest of the details there. There is an interview process for the apprentices. There is no interview process for the students. If you're interested, go to offprintmint.com and shoot me a message and we'll go from there. That's what I have for y'all today. Thank you for being here. And thank you for doing your part in raising this collective, making this world a far better place than when we entered it. All right? All right. Let's get it.